five years ago today, I had my granddaughter on my knee in New York and signed the Paris Agreement. And that was a great moment for everybody in the world when everybody came together in New York excitedly to set out on this venture. Uh, regrettably, without any facts, without any science, without any rationale uh, that uh, would be considered reasonable, uh, the former president decided to pull out. He's the only president in the entire world, the only chief of state in the entire world, who without any scientific evidence decided to pull out of the Paris Agreement. So the importance of today, in my judgment, is this. The world came together. Uh, president Xi, Prime Minister Modi, President Putin, uh, presidents of uh, small countries and big countries, President Macron, Chancellor of Germany, uh, the EU itself, uh, independently, uh, f people in the financial marketplace and others, all of them in agreement that this, this is a crisis. It is the climate crisis. But that's the power of having the private sector here. That is the real reason why I'm saying to you that no politician in the future is going to do this, because all over the world, trillions of dollars, trillions of yen, trillions of euros are going to be heading into this new marketplace. Wind and solar had the biggest year they've ever had last year. And, and what we saw last year was, was continuation of tax credits that passed through a Republican-controlled Congress. The NDC is, is a commitment. And, it, and our NDC basically says that the United States will reduce our net economy-wide greenhouse gas emissions by 50 to 52% below 2005 levels by 2030. In this target, bills on U.S. leadership at all levels of government and programs to date and positions American workers in industry to help us tackle the climate crisis.